Hi guys, just a quick Naked Nails update before I get to the water marbling. In particular, with these two bad breaks from the patching video. And I know I just got that uploaded last night, but it was actually recorded back on February 5th. So these patches have been on for over three weeks. And you can see they're starting to look a little bit ragged. I've had some lifting at the edges, and so what I did was basically to just trim off the excess patch and before I get started I'm going to add just another layer of gel to kind of reinforce them and smooth them out rather than redoing the entire patch and I think you guys can see right there this is the nail with the full break and that has grown out quite a bit um, within the next couple weeks I'll probably be able to get rid of the patch and just cut it down so that it's a normal nail again um, got a little bit of peeling on these two nails, but other than that, everything has been going pretty good. So I'm going to do that layer of gel, some base coat and a base color, and then I'll be back. All right, so to start off Water Marble March 2014, I'm going to be working on this red, pink, and white water marble. And this is a design that I was going to do for Valentine's Day and didn't get around to. But I didn't think it looked so Valentine's-y that you couldn't wear it the rest of the year. And so instead of saving it for a whole year for next Valentine's Day, I thought I would do it now. I actually tested these colors when I was working on the water spotted manicure that I did. These colors are all three from Orly. The red is Hot Red, the pink is Lift the Veil, and the white is White Tips, which is also what I have as my base color. So I'm going to finish off the bullseye, and then I'm going to be drawing in a flower with some very narrow petals. clean up that messy center I'm just going to dip my orange stick in there a couple times to kind of draw it together and clear out the goobers and it's not completely symmetrical but that's okay just decide which direction on your nail you want the white to be facing I'm going to turn the cup a little bit to accommodate that then I'm going to be dipping three fingers at once lining up the center of the flower for my middle finger and then dipping in. With my orange stick I'm going to clean up that little bit of leftover polish so it doesn't stick on top of the design. And once the surface is clear go ahead and pull slowly out and there's the water marble. So let me know what you guys think of this, if you like it for everyday wear, or if you think it's a little bit too Valentine's-y. And stay tuned all the rest of this month. It's my personal challenge to do all water marbles all month. No other nail art and no plain manicures in between. So it's really kind of fun. And this is the third year I've done it, so if you'd like to see some designs from the past years, I'll include a link to the playlist in the information box. And as always, thanks for watching.